one of the things I will never get tired of doing. Every time you can use the same glaze, the same body clay, the same kiln, and use the same sawdust, and you'll get a different result every time. That's the magic of Raku. It's a Japanese form of the tea ceremony, and we've sort of developed it over many, many hundreds of years. It's very personal, different glazes for different potters. We all have our own recipes and fire in different ways. For me, it's so exciting to do each time. It's like a Christmas day, when you take that pot out of the sawdust and begin to clean it. It's just magical. There's four of us in the group, and as the four potters, we've worked out our strengths. And each year we try to up it so we get more of a, a slick finish. We do live raku, which means on the spot people glaze their own pot, which is really exciting to do. And seeing the whole process from the glaze going on to it being in the kiln for just that half an hour and being open to this magical melted glaze finish into the sawdust and 15 minutes later you've got a, a really beautiful piece that you can take home to remember the good life. We're in the in maker's row so you see the different skills you know from the whittling to the flip making to the, to the potters and to go and see how they work. I find that as interesting as what I do every day. Being involved with crafts is just a lovely outlet for a lot of people. It's um, a release and a relaxation. I think by them getting involved, using their hands, a lot of people, their strengths come out in the hands. Not everybody is academic. Using the hands and being a part of, and feeling good, you've, you've just done that. You've put that design on that, and that's really quite special. <laughs>